for Sadhguru. Uh, one of the tasks that we are given and trying to do is to raise, a, taking care of a kid at home, mm -hmm. uh, taking care of your um, children at home. Um, but we, we are troubled with, like, um, whenever we need to make a decision or not to make a decision, we are troubled with like what to consider and what, to, what not to consider. Can you give us some perspective about something that we should think um, while m making a decision or not making a decision for the kids? Why are you making all the decisions for them? Um, <laughs> so that's the trouble. Uh, I'm not sure if, I'm sure I'm, I'm not the right person to make the decision, but should that be made or not? So, like, what do I do when I need to do something? Hmm? First thing we need to understand is children only come through you, they don't come from you. They are not your property to be conducted whichever way you feel fit. No, they are not. If you treat them as your property or your future investment, if you treat them as such, you are committing a certain sacrilege against creation and the creator, for which there will be a price. Simply it will come in the form of life or maybe it will come in the form of your children, the price. Yes, it will be very unfortunate to see that. I am saying this, a very cruel thing to say to any parent, but I am saying this, because it's a very cruel thing to parent a child. A child doesn't need that. But please see, in so many ways you're doing everything possible to see that he remains dependent on you in some way or the other. You're not thinking of liberating him. So, the moment you start working, you want your children to be attached to you, isn't it? Well, you yourself open Bhagavad Gita and read and say, you should not be attached, I should not be attached. You tell your wife, see, don't be attached to me. <laughs> but your children, you want them attached to you. So, before you choose to have children, you must think about these things, but if already it has happened, now at least now you must think about it properly, seriously. One thing is, if you want to produce something little better than yourself to the world. Hmm? It's important. If you produce a child, it must be at least one step better than you, isn't it? The same nonsense is going to happen once again. What's the point? So something better than you has to happen means the first and most fundamental thing is, you are one hundred percent straight. Even if it's embarrassingly straight, your one hundred percent straight is important. This is something very hard for most parents because that's the only place where they get to boss around. They have a committed audience in their children. Wherever else they speak, nobody will listen to them. Children till they become twelve years of age, thirteen is dangerous. Till they become twelve years of age, you have a committed audience. You're losing that also, many of you. Much earlier, isn't it? <laughs> yes? Much earlier you're losing it. So, how old are they? Huh? Okay, there's enough room for correction. You must do this. Stop parenting them. What they need is some good company, not a bloody boss walking around in the house. Yes or no? When you were growing up, did you like it? Being talked down to, did you like it? No. So what they need is a friend. They don't need a bloody father and mother. That job is already done. Fathering somebody, mothering somebody means biologically delivering them, that's been done. Now they're trying to become a life by themselves. What they need is a friend. The only qualification you have against them or over them is 
You came here a few years earlier than them, that's all you have. What else do you have, I'm asking? Are you sure you're more intelligent than your child? Are you sure? Huh? What? Yes. So, the most important thing you need to understand, just you came here a few years earlier than them. All you have done is a few years earlier you landed here. Beyond that, you have no other qualification to tell them what to do and what not to do. Yes or no? But the other consideration is, if you don't tell them, somebody else unqualified advice on the street will happen. You only have to guard them against that. But if you have to guard them against that, that you must have the courage to bring them up in such a way that they don't take any advice from you either. You say, what I say you must listen, but don't listen to your friend. He's telling you to take a drug, don't listen to him. But what the friend says seems to be more of a pleasure than the nonsense that you're talking about. That's a fact, isn't it? So it's not going to work. If you bring up your child with a, such a fierce sense of his own intelligence and his own decisions, then you will see, he will seek help because he will very easily realize that his intelligence, his understanding is not good enough for everything. But if you bring him up that he has to listen to your advice, he will come up with a rebelliousness. Even when good things are said, he won't do that, he will do the reverse of it. This is something that most parents are experiencing, isn't it? He wants to do just the reverse of it, just to feel independent because he doesn't know what it means to be independent. So, four is not bad. Now, you can start treating them as just one more person. Not as my child, my child, it is not yours, I'm telling you. At the most you are given some genetic substance to create a body. You can't create a life, don't have such grandiose ideas about yourself. You cannot create a life. You just provided some substance, some genetic substance to make a body, yes? That too you did not think about all these things, out of your own compulsions you do something and they land up. Yes? So, understanding that a child is not your making, it's a privilege, they have come through you. Enjoy the privilege, cherish the privilege, respect the privilege. Do not abuse the privilege that's been given to you, it's very important. Why are you brought up this or that? You're supposed to grow up as a human being, isn't it? It is just that most people never create an atmosphere for people to grow. They are brought up the way you want them to be, not the way they should be as life. If you're not ramming up nonsense into their head, they have a tremendous sense of observation. And observation naturally pops up a million questions. You answer as many questions as you can the way you know it. What you don't know, you just tell them, I don't know. My only problem is I came a few years earlier than you, this doesn't mean I know everything. Admit it to your children, what's the problem? Yes? You think they can't read, you're not even bloody sincere about things that you're saying? You think they can't see it? If you think they can't see it, I want you to know, by the time they are ten, twelve, thirteen, if they have some problem within them, they don't come to you, they go to their friends. Why? Because they feel they are more sincere than you. No other reason. Yes or no? You are acting like you'll drop from heaven. Who wants to listen to your nonsense? <laughs> Unless they are so bloody brainwashed by the time they are ten, twelve. They will not listen. Any intelligent human being will not listen to bullshit. Yes or no? unless you're brought up on it seriously. So, just handle this privilege sensibly, respectfully, 
do not abuse this privilege. Just you have to protect them from wrong influences. Rest, leave them free. If you think they will anyway go wrong, that must be your own self-knowledge. You are so sure of yourself, my children bound to go wrong. Just protect them from… you have to protect them a little bit from wrong influences. But at the same time, they must remain free of your influence, which is also a bad influence. I'm saying, if you show that what you're doing is of real worth and you're willing to invest your life in that, why would your children not invest their life in it? If you don't show that commitment, if you do not show that involvement with life and you're expecting them to become wonderful whatever, no, it will not happen. And they don't listen to what rubbish you say, they're observing what you do and how you are, isn't it? So if you want to raise children, please raise yourself. Don't worry about the children, just raise yourself into a wonderful human being, make yourself that, it will reflect. It cannot go wrong, but there's no guarantee. <laughs> like in everything in life, there's no guarantee because there may be some other stronger influence on the street side, isn't it? <laughs>